here with a Christmas card that I've made using Hero Art stamps. I'm using this Holly Jolly uh, stamp set and also this Joy to the World stamp set. Now I made a card very similar to this one just the other day. I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. Um, using the poinsettia stamp set instead but I decided I wanted to do a similar one with the holly so I've taken some watercolor card and cut it on an angle and this is going to be my colored panel at the top of the card and I wanted to stamp the leaves and the holly berries but the leaves in this stamp set have a little stalk at the bottom, the PDLs of the um, leaves, and I wanted that to be covered up by the holly berries. So I've created some masks here using some Inka Dinka Do stamp masking paper, and um, I'm going to be stamping the berries and then the leaves in Versamark ink and then white embossing with some Hero Arts embossing powder. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just sort of visualising in my head where all the leaves are going to go to make this pattern and then using that to decide where I'm going to stamp these this first three, lot, three lots of berries. So I've stamped them. I'm going to sprinkle on some white embossing powder. And once that's on, I'll just heat set that. So this um, technique, I'm going to be stamping then embossing and then masking some more and stamping and embossing and just doing it step by step rather than trying to do a whole lot at once because once you've stamped with the um the leaves even when you have embossed it it's still a little bit hard to see where those leaves have been stamped and it's certainly easier when it has been embossed than when it hasn't so i decided to do it little bit by little bit um, and yeah embosses I went okay so this is pretty much the only one that I um, stamped all three leaves at once most of the others are just two leaves at once and I'm going to cut some of it out because it's a little bit boring seeing me doing this over and over and over again um, but you can see the idea behind it I'm just masking and stamping and embossing and then masking and stamping and embossing and yeah you get the gist all right so on around the edges I'm just inking up two of the holly leaves sorry my big noggin gets in the way there but a couple of times when I did this I went to stamp I think on the next one I do this just about to stamp inked up the, the um, stamp just about to press down and realized oh don't know where that mask has gone <laughs> so I had to um, very quickly go oh where's the mask put the mask on quick before I stamp so yeah I was quite glad that I noticed that before I stamped all right so I'm going to cut out um, the rest of this stamping and masking and embossing and here the panel is completely embossed you can't really see it I've got four different distress inks these are in pine needles mowed lawn tumbled glass and obviously festive berries because that's what it's for so what I'm doing I'm just going around some of the lines so on the insides of the shapes with the red and with the darkest green over the veins of the leaves with this darkest green when I first wanted to do this card I was hoping that when I sprayed this water over the top all the embossing would resist the water movement so the water would spread just within those areas um, and be limited to those areas and you can see that didn't happen so I'm just using a baby wipe to mop up some of the excess color that's spread um, and at the moment it looks like I've done an okay job of doing that however <laughs> the next few steps you'll see no 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 way was I going to keep that color where I want it to go but that was okay I decided to embrace the idea of the color just going where it wanted to go and I quite liked the effect in the end. All I did was, at this point I'm going over with the paler green around the edges of the leaves to give some definition to the edges of the leaves. You can see the colour just going all over the place. I decided to just 
keep to mopping up the excess colour just where I saw a nasty brown colour forming. Um, where I saw just sort of the reds and the greens not really mixing too much with each other, I just let it be. Um, and I got this um, really interesting background. Okay, so again with the heat gun, um, making sure it's dry. And then I'm going in with the tumble glass just to make sure that all of that background um, around the edge, we had nice definition around those um, scalloped um, edges of the leaves. And I'm just, <laughs> right now, I'm just thinking to myself, I know there's a botanical term for that scalloping around the edge of the leaves and I, for the life of me, I can't think of what it is right now. I need help from my workmate Ian. He's really good with things like that. Anyway, again, I'm just mopping up some of the colour to give a few little bright spots in the background, a bit paler, to give a bit of variation. And just mopping up where I can see... Um, colours that I'm not really happy with. Um, adding a little bit more blue here and there that I thought I needed a bit more. And that's almost the end of the background. I decided when I finished drying it that I wanted to give a bit more definition to the berries. So I just ran around one edge with sort of a C shape um, with the red and I didn't even add any more water after that decided that was it and I quite liked that um, background but if I tried to do this again I know I wouldn't get something looking exactly the same and I think that's the beauty of a technique like this when you use water is you never know exactly what you're going to get you just have to run with it all right so I have just taken some um, red uh, glimmer paper from Stampin' Up and made a tiny little strip to go underneath my diagonal panel. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment, a Hero Arts um, stamp uh, with Hero Hues black ink, which gives a nice crisp um, image from for sentiments, which is always good for sentiments, being able to read them really, really clearly. And again, my head gets in the way, sorry about that. All right, and now I'm pretty much done except for some assembly. So because this is on watercolour paper and it definitely warped while I was just blasting it with so much water, I'm using my um, Scotch ATG, which has some really strong adhesive. And you can see I'm giving a really good covering of that adhesive all over the back to prevent that watercolour paper from warping and coming off the card front. Okay, I'm just lining it up um, as straight as I possibly can onto the top of the card. Then I'm going to use some uh, Tombow Mono Multi Glue, just in a little thin strip to add the red glimmer paper. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to yeah stick that down, cut off the edges, and that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and you'll just see me signing off with a couple of pictures of this card and also the other one that I made with the poinsettia stamp that I mentioned earlier on. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.